Somebody finally asked about this. Yeah, this is one of the funniest things and the closest anyone has ever gotten to a happy ending in this universe. So there's this orc known as Tuska Demon Killer and his story is wow. So the story goes that Tuska and his warband were flying around the warp one day. If you don't know what the warp is, it's basically hell. And one day while they were flying around, a big ass greater demon materialized on their ship. He started absolutely slaughtering the crew. For most people, this is a terrifying experience. Orcs feel a little differently though. Since all they care about is fighting, this is like in-flight entertainment for them. So Tuska went to where the fighting was thickest and started just absolutely slaughtering demons. And turns out demons are particularly fun to fight. Tuska took the demon's head and declared from then on that was his life's goal. To fight demons. So his fleet started purposely flying around with their shields down, trying to bait more demons into attacking them. They even started using their own weird boys as bait because demons are particularly drawn to psychers. This went on for a while until the demons eventually realized that there's just one ship full of crazy orcs you don't mess with. This pissed him off and gave him a crazy idea. This is the funniest thing that's ever happened in Warhammer. About how one crazy orc got his wish to fight infinite demons. So for a while, Tuscan and his crew would fly around with their shields down trying to bait demons into attacking them. And it worked for a while. Eventually though, the demons caught on and started to just ignore them. And that really pissed him off. So Tuska and the boys got to thinking. So if the demons won't come to us, and we just gotta go to them. Tuska and the lads headed off to a place known as the Eye of Terror. It's basically a wound in reality. An area where real space and the warp start to overlap one another. One tiny problem. It's kind of the most heavily guarded place in the entire galaxy. The Eye is where demons and other chaos entities can enter our world. So humanity took guarding it very seriously. And when Tuska and the lads got there, they kind of all had their backs turned. They were guarding from things coming out of it, not going through it. Strange thing is, they launched a full-scale assault on one of the moons, a completely worthless rock. Marion was ridiculously confused to say the least. The orcs broke through and plunged into the war, where infinite demons awaited. Him and the boys had just crossed the Eye of Terror, searching for more demons to crump. And what you have to understand about the warp is it's a pretty messed up place. It's a realm of pure chaos. And they saw things that if me and you saw them, we would probably lose our minds. Luckily for the orcs though. They're far too simple to understand things like insanity, madness, and the infinite void. They're too busy looking for more things to fight. So they fought their way across one demon infested planet to another. And it didn't matter what kind of demons they found. Orcs want to fight everyone equally. They fought through demon worlds of Slanesh, the crystalline worlds of Zinch, the plague worlds of Nurgle. It is until they got to one scary ass planet in particular. When the boys descended, they didn't find any demons there. And they noticed that the ground was kind of squishy. This frustrated the hell out of the orcs. And out of frustration, they unloaded their guns into the ground. Here's the thing about that planet though. It turns out that entire planet was a living organism. Blood started erupting from all the wounds. Like antibodies come to fight off an infection. Demons of corn started to materialize all around them. And a certain someone took notice. The story of Tuska Demon Killer is outright insanity. And thankfully his story has a happy ending. So Tuska and the lads found themselves on one of Korn's blood planets. A massive army of corn demons started barreling through them. Demons and orcs alike were getting slaughtered. In the middle of the melee, exalted corn blood prints materialized. And he challenged Tuska to a duel to the death. Tuska met the demon in glorious combat, while orcs and demons were being slaughtered all around them. Tuska fought ferociously, but the demon ended up getting the best of him and plunged his sword through Tuska's chest, pinning him to the ground. The demon let loose a terrifying roar of triumph, but Tuska wasn't done yet. He reached up with a clawed hand and crushed the blood prince. <coughs> the blood prince let loose a shriek of pain and anger. He got his vengeance, but Tuska succumbed to his wounds. That's not where the story ends, though. Horn the god of blood and skull, the father of all these demons, had been watching this battle intently, and he was really impressed. So much so that he resurrected him and the rest of his crew and teleported them to his world. Tuska and the boys could fight demons for all of time and be resurrected each day. This is basically heaven for orcs. He's still there to this day.